Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look out. What the fuck? E aí pessoal, canal RDB, continuando aqui com a nossa série de Life is Strange. Bom, como é de costume, teve aí no começo uma prévia dos outros capítulos, né? 1, 2, 3 e 4. E chegamos aqui no quinto já, né? Que é o último, né? Então, muitas co coisas foram reveladas aí, né? A gente descobriu a verdade aí de quem tá fazendo essas... Falar que nem um repórter agora. Essas atrocidades... E vamos ver aí como é que se procede aí a história. No último episódio aí a gente acabou sendo, digamos que apagado, né? No sentido de desmaiar, não no sentido de ser morto, né? Mas a gente acabou sendo apagado aí pelo professor. Que é ele que tá fazendo essas coisas com, com as alunas, né? A Rachel, a Kate. A vitória era a próxima, mas no caso a gente se meteu no meio e acabou virando a próxima, né? E vamos ver aí o que é que vai acontecer. Bom, eu queria deixar avisado aqui também, que novamente, assim como o capítulo passado inteiro, esse capítulo aqui inteiro também eu vou estar sem fone, né? É porque eu tô com um, pe um pequeno probleminha Chloe. sobre distância. What? Where? Oh, dark room. Eita, a vitória. Então, além da gente, também tem a Vitória aqui. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Bom, é, tava falando do fone sobre a distância, né? Porque o fio do fone não chega até aqui. E se eu botar o áudio para sair pela TV, o microfone acaba pegando e sai eco. Então, fica bem chato. Então, eu prefiro ficar sem... Sem, sem ouvir, né? Pô, oh, se apareceu aí a legenda de Caps Lock, eu creio que a Max tá gritando, né? Sendo que a gente tá num... Embaixo da terra, com uma, dentro de um cofre, com uma porta de aço, 
um alçapão, um galpão, no meio do nada. Max, né? Pera aí, né, Max? Tá, enfim, vou deixar de enrolar, vou tentar me livrar aqui logo. Puxa. Bom, não sei se tá dando pra ouvir, mas tá chovendo bem fraquinho aqui. E... é, espero que não dê pra ouvir. Focar na foto. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Oh. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. 
always take the shot. Caraca, mano, que profissão maníaco ainda, o maníaco das fotos, porra, mas no cu, mano, cara doido. Como mostrou nas fotos, a gente fez mudanças, né? Aquele chute que a gente deu nesse carrinho aqui Ocorreu mudanças, né? No, no, um pouco no tempo Tá, mas e aí? Eu vou olhar o bicho ali que a gente mudou Jefferson não podia lidar com as fotos de stains Bom, agora eu posso usar eles E aí? Deixa eu olhar aqui a Vitória Vitória Ei, Vitória É o Max Você pode me ouvir? Oh God, where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. <laughs> Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. And Kate Marsh was telling the truth. Even though I knew she wasn't lying. And I could have helped her, Max. But I hurt her. Now it's, it's my turn. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Beleza, vamos tentar escapar aqui agora, né? Bom, ali na no meio da do diálogo teve a opção chill. Ou para ela fazer silêncio. Eu não tenho certeza se teve barulho no jogo, né? Porque, como eu já disse, estou sem fone, mas sei lá. Ia ser que a gente tivesse alguém aqui por perto, né? Tá, só tem como olhar. Oh, eu foto. Eu Opa, era isso mesmo. Isso pode Por favor, Essa é só a borboleta aí na blusa dela é sobre o efeito borboleta. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're 
The winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim. Not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with a camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? 
I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Bom, cara, acho que agora seria importante áudio, né? O cara ligou até o som ali. Não sei se a música tem interferência. Bom, só dá para interagir com aquilo ali. Isso é tudo em uma coisa nova. Deixa eu voltar aqui só para garantir. Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. With a heart. Oh my God. Nossa, cara, é certo que a gente vai voltar pro começo do jogo? Eu poderia frame you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a Selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change Contest. time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Artist. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Bom, cara, de fato é que a gente voltou no começo do jogo. Vamos ver o que é que tem pra fazer aqui de diferente. Mas antes, uma coisa que eu não fiz até agora foi ver as fotos, né? Ah, sem mais página do diário, a gente para no 63, né? Então, 64, 65 e 66. Vamos ver aqui as fotos. 
Ah, olha a Kate, velho. Nossa. Ela tá aqui do lado. Eu vou ver se dá pra tirar agora. Tá, tipo uma pessoa olhando uns quadros. Uma câmera com fita adesiva. E uma baleia pegando fogo. Deixa eu ver aqui a bolsa. Eu deveria ser capaz de encontrar o David's número do pamphleto da escola. Eu encontrei você. É, o resto dá pra olhar mesmo, então vamos continuar aqui a avisar pro David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Bom, interessante no quanto isso vai impactar, né? Am I pushing myself too hard? Deixa eu ver se dá pra tirar foto dela. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Pera, Max, dá tempo. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use it. Oh, vei. Foi mal, pessoal. Não, não resisti. Olho. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Beleza, deu certo aqui a Kate. Cadê a foto, cara? Eu quero a foto. Não faz isso comigo, não. Aí. Não, esse jogo aqui tem que pegar o ângulo de visão ainda. Beleza, deu certo. Mais uma foto. Aquela bola de papel, né? Falando da coisa, pichação. Deixa eu ver se eu amarrar as fotos de novo. Só pra garantir. Eu sei que é chato, mas eu, eu detesto perder. Tá, olhando pros quadros, a câmera com uma fita adesiva. É, usar não, não, não. Tá, vamos falar aqui com o professor e depois salvar a Chloe. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very. Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And 
Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Caraca, mano, a gente voltou, a gente mudou muita coisa aí praticamente, né? E eu não sei como é que a Max volta pro tempo dela, né? O tempo de verdade, pro presente, né? É bruxaria, bruxaria. I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Bom pessoal, acabei me empolgando aqui, não foi nem exatamente eu, né? Mas já tá quase 33 minutos. Agradeço você que assistiu. Espero que tenha gostado da série. Eu não gostado da série, não, não gostado do vídeo. Espero que esteja gostando da série. Espero que tenham gostado desse começo de capítulo. E é, eu vou parar por aqui porque já tá bem grande o episódio. E agradeço você que assistiu e é. Tchau, beijo pra vocês, seus lindos. E até o próximo vídeo.